He says, hey, somebody took me up to a Sai Baba Center and I fell in love with Swami. Would you like to come next Thursday? I said, yeah, we, we love God. We love, we are spiritual people, so we'll go. And when we got there, the moment we entered, I said, gee, I met God. When I saw Swami's picture first and heard all Westerners singing Indian bhajans and Sanskrit bhajans, I said, look at the stupid Indians I am. I can't even do what they are doing and look at their love for, for this person. I said, this is God. That's it. It was just instant connection So you for me. really knew quickly. It, it, quickly it was on. instant connection. And from then on, whatever I wished came true. I tell you, 1991, I was a heart patient. Two of side devotees and one of their colleagues. There's a positive condition that I should get operated. They wanted my wife's permission. My wife said, I can't let you touch and operate him till I ask Sai Baba. And the doctor says, Madam, you understand, he's a walking time bomb. And then Bhagwan asked my wife, that's next to what's the news? And he looked at it and he says, Swami, my husband's health is not well. He looked at her, he looked at me, and then he gently went like this. Tap three times. No heart problem. Then my wife told Swami, but uh, doctors are saying he needs operation and medicines. Ma, no medicines, no doctors. No operation. No operation. I'm in him, I'm around him, I'm above him. It is my duty to take care of him. No harm will come to him. What about that big green ring on your finger? Did that come from Baba? That came from Baba. Do you want to hold that up and point that at the camera a little bit? That's one of the biggest green rings I think I've ever seen uh, in my life. That's what this, this is what he gave me uh, on uh, 1996 on his birthday. He was holding all his life and he just, just Now, were you watching his lips? I was watching his lips, you all are watching. And his then, fingers? Yeah, and he says, look, <laughs> the cheap ring in a fraction of a second is now a thousand times more precious. And he... Ramesh Wadwani has been a follower of Holy Man Tri Sancha Sai Baba for more than 33 years. In this interview, Ramesh shares his stories of how Sai Baba saved his life multiple times, accounts which are truly miraculous. Welcome to Soul Journeys. This interview was recorded at the annual Sai Retreat in Troy, New York in May 2012. Uh, there was time, life in time when uh, uh, there's a recession going on in the country and I applied for many, many jobs, apply, apply, no reply. And one fine morning, she, I was returning from a, a Massachusetts Boston interview from DEC Digital Equipment and she said, hey, somebody took me up to a Sai Baba Center and I fell in love with Swami, would you like to come next Thursday? I said, yeah, we, we love God, we love, we are spiritual people, so we'll go. And in the meantime, she gave me a book to read Men of Miracles for, for the week. Uh, I, I read it till Till got completed, couldn't keep it down till finished. And when we got there, into St. Louis Center, Mr. Moore, Juan Moore used to run that, and, uh, and Bill Harvey was part of the center. So the moment we entered, I said, gee, I met God. When I saw Swami's picture first, and we heard all Westerners singing Indian bhajans and Sanskrit bhajans, I said, look at the stupid Indians I am. I can't even do what they are doing and look at their love for for this person, I said, this is God, that's it. It was just instant connection So you for me. really knew quickly? It, it, quickly it was on. instant connection. And from then on, whatever I wished came true. Oh, I said, Lord. I want that picture in my house, and that the similar picture came to my house. <laughs> what else did you wish for? Oh, I just want to go see him. And did you go? And within six weeks, I went there. And w tell me, uh, do you remember the year of your Actually, first Actually, step back, when I said, okay, I was looking for a job, for six months, those, everything was rejected. From that point on, I went to Sai Center, and following seven, seven Thursdays, I had a job every Thursday in my hand. I was looking for a job, I got seven jobs in my hand. And I talked to the center president, I said, this is confusing, I couldn't find a job. He says, this is how you work, so I should go, go thank him. How can I go thank him? I, how, how can I, go, I don't know this person, so it's a great personality, they call him God, and. 
I, I think he's God from what I've experienced so far. And, uh, but just so happened, I was a student. I had an initial job with company went bankrupt after six years of work. I had no savings, I just bought a house. How am I going to, how am I going to go see him? But I didn't have money to go to buy a ticket. So how did you figure that one out? And then it just, uh, my wife said, you got to go thank him because he gave you a job. Go somehow. So he said, okay, a friend like her, somebody says, I'll loan you money, you go. <laughs> and okay, that's great. Somebody's willing to give me $1,000 to go there. But it just so happened, the very next day, I first credit cards in my lifetime I ever earned. The two credit cards came in the mail un, unquestioned. I wonder, the 59 limit or 1,000 limit? So, well, we have a credit card, we can all go now. I mean, my two little children were just born, the young, three children. Did your wife think you were out of your mind and totally they irresponsible? They thought, we should all go. <laughs> did and you? that's how we did. We went, all of us, and we were there for day two, two days, two days. He autographed the book for me. That, that's a different story altogether. But we, we came back. Well, the, but before you go back to that, uh, what was your first impression in seeing Baba in the flesh? Well, as, as soon as we went there, the Baba was leaving Puttaparthi the car was heading back. The driver tells me, hey, looks like you come to see him, but he's, he's, leaving, leaving. he's going to Bangalore, looks like. Uh -huh. So, okay, let's follow. We turned the car around. But we waited in sideways, saw his car pass and blessed it from the, from the car like Your that. Your first Baba. The first. And then we followed, but he was going to Gokulam. So I saw him going there, and I was outside the gate. He went to Krishna's statue, the cow up there, and says, and looked around, touched things up there. I said, here we are Indians. We eat beef, we eat hamburgers, we eat this. And here we, we know we shouldn't be eating cow flesh. I said, no, I will not eat meat anymore. Just the that heart quickly, spoke. The heart quickly. spoke. And they stopped eating non oh my my God, That's wonderful. They changed. What about that big green ring on your finger? Did that come from Baba? That came from Baba. Do you want to hold that up and point that at the camera a little bit? That's one of the biggest green rings I think I've ever seen uh, in my life. That's what David Grease is all the time. <laughs> look at my little, look at your big one. Oh, it's tremendous. And, and tell us how that happened. Yeah. This, this is what he gave me on, on uh, 1996 on his birthday. This is about fourth ring he has given me. The fourth ring? Yeah. Oh my goodness. So this this was one of those rings when I had a morning I had interviewed in, in March 5th, my birthday. And then uh, he didn't ask for the ring. I forgot about it. Then he kind of said, hey, when are you leaving? I said, Swami, later after after budget's four o'clock, I got a flight to catch about six. And and midnight, midnight, so flight from Bombay to US back. No, 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 wait, do one more three session in the evening, then go. So like three session in the evening, we used yeah. to go to Brindavan and be in his house with the students. Mm -hmm. So I had a privilege with the students to be a guest and go and go inside. So as the budgets ended, we all rushed through that. And I canceled my flight and I didn't have any second local reservation. So I said, well, cancel. Somebody said cancel, is cancel. I, I, I rushed in and somebody was waiting at the doorsteps of three, three door says, hey, you come here. I says, I thought you you couldn't go going back. What, what are you doing here? Swami told me, don't go. Go on the late, late, later flight. Ah, yes, yes, go, go, go. So by that time, you know, the crowd had already occupied all the seats. I was way at the back of the Swami's mm -hmm. house. and But as he would have it, he came in July, and then he spotted me way at the back. He called me, the, called me the front. And as he called me the front, I was probably six feet away from him with three students in between. He was sitting in the jula and he says, get up and speak to my boys. Get up and speak to the students. I said, Swami, what? I never had, had you ever given I never give a speech before? or not, not Brother Swami, no. Or it's, I said, what? He said, speak on devotion. I don't know. I was dumbfounded a bit. But then as I was getting, getting up, I wanted to touch, touch his feet. And I couldn't reach him with boys over there in front. So he inadvertently left his feet up and touched my heart. Oh, come I on. I was like this, yeah. He Literally. took his foot and raised it and touched I, your heart? Yeah, he was so jula. He raised it up so I can touch uh -huh. it. I was bending like this. As the, the swing was going back, he was right, touching your heart. touch your heart going through. <laughs> you know, I've never done this before. In the 12, 13 years I've been interviewing people, I don't, nobody needs any questions from me. I'm just going to be a child here. 
just keep giving me stories. Give me another Baba story. <laughs> but, I, but just I, then I was wait, waiting up. Then it was just, he would talk going up. Then he says, uh, I mean, this touching is tied to my heart condition, which he has cured it. But then I said, okay, give, start opening my talk or some words to come out. He looks at my hand and says, hey, where's the ring? The Swami's broken. The morning before we gave it to him. Is this the first ring he gave you? There was this, this fourth ring. Oh, this so the was fourth the, ring he the gave The third you. ring was broken, yeah. <laughs> the third ring. I broke it in Moscow uh, and two weeks ago. So I was carrying my pocket. So the the half moon, half part of it, I kept with me. And the other half, the top portion, I gave it to him. He looked at it. He said, is this my ring? I said, Swami came from your factory. Then he held it and then he made me give it off. With about 10, 15 minutes, the thing got over. He looks at the ring and shows everybody like this. And that was gone, and this was in his hand. Going through. Now, literally, show literally. me exactly how he did that. It, he had like, imagine this old ring. Uh -huh. And it was all. You had the ring, but the stone was. Those, those plain gold ring with embossed picture and gold okay. on it. So, how so, was it broken again? It, it was broken in, from here. Okay, so you couldn't, wear, you couldn't really See, his, his gold is all 24, it's soft gold, right? Yeah. So it easily breaks. It kind of bends. Yeah, and it was so, very malleable. Yeah, yeah. yeah, right. So he was holding hold on it like that, and he just... just now, were you watching his lips? I was watching his lips. You all are watching. And his then, fingers? Yeah, and he says, look, <laughs> the cheap ring in a fraction of a second is now a thousand times more precious. And he gently slided this in my hand. And then bless me, says, now you can go. <laughs> so, and, and that's your fourth Baba that's ring. Bob. Well, your last one broke. What, was, what about the other two before that? Uh, last one broke. The one before that, I had with the nine planetary stones that Swami has mm -hmm. in there. And there were three stones fallen out. So I showed to a senior lady here in Connecticut, outside devotee. He said, when Swami takes stone away, each stone, he takes you serious trouble away from you. Oh, the difficulty in your life, difficulty is taken away. I said, I don't believe that. But, so when I got there, gave an interview and said, Swami, I don't like this ring. The stone's fall off. I've taken three troubles away from you. Mm -hmm. Confirmation yeah. as to what yeah. the lady That's... told me. But somehow I still don't like it. I won't change it. Did you ever have any doubts? Did you ever, were you ever skeptical about any of these performances, no, these, these no, miracles? These no, but I, I, like I said, my first contact with them, I said, I have met God. And I didn't have any difficulty accepting him as God. I just, it, 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 and you I know, never had an interview until 11 years of my life, till the first interview. And you know, he, he would call me to the last time he saw me, mm -hmm. doubting Thomas, but. Mm -hmm. I have to, how do I say this with any credibility? I have no doubts now, but I'm still curious about yeah. rings and, and materializations. Mm -hmm. And we frequently see him wave his hand and it comes out the bottom of his hand. For some reason, I'm even more intrigued the way he did this ring to you. And he mm -hmm. holds it between his forefinger and his mm -hmm. thumb and he... I went along and showed everybody like this. And everybody can see. See it and he just went, like this, so if you're holding it. As, as simple as that. What do you make of all that? For scientists, very difficult, like David Grease said, because when miracles happening in our house, they all know it in 1982. And people who say, well, you're a scientist. How do you live? People in the office, everybody knew it because I used to get called every five minutes. Now this happened, now that happened. There were thousands of pictures giving blessings. Uh, Amrut, Kumkum, Kum, Sandalwood, you name it. We boot it all over the place. It's like a storm. We boot the storm in the house. Oh, that's wonderful. Another story. Yeah. Give us another story. Uh, he knows everything. I reflect back, in, a, in, in my house, it's a customary that every child when graduates from high school, we take it to Swami. It just so happened we had the privilege, so... so I missed that. Every I, what? Every... every uh, all three of my kids, when they finished high school, we used to take them to okay, Swami. so that's a custom so you had Custom. Yeah, I mean, not that we, we, we knew Swami, at least bless them, at least they should go and see Swami and get, get his blessings. Mm -hmm. So this was my second child going through, and um, so before his graduation, I was I'm talking like this is 1994, and I was looking at the phone bill, and those phones were expensive, if you remember. Oh sure. So look at 45 dollar bill. I said, well, no, 
uh, we are on salary jobs. I get 40,000 salary. We are, ends to me is very difficult to go. And this is a waste of money and time. You're talking to your girlfriends, your friends, and wasting time. No, no, Dad, $40 is not too much. I said, well, Swami knows this. He says, you're wasting money. You know how Swami is. And I'm wasting time. And he says, no, no, Swami will not know this. How it is know it? As lo and behold, have it. This happened like May conversation. He graduates from high school about July or so. We go to go to Puerto Puerto Puerto. You know, Swami happened to be in Whitefield. So we go to Whitefield. And the Swami, I was here. My son was here. My two girls and my wife, we were in the interview room inside the Trace Bindavan, standing up. And then Swami said, what's the news? I said, Swami, son has graduated from high school. Please give him blessings. Yes, yes, very good boy. Very good boy. Lot of blessings. Then he says, but spends too much money on phone. Waste money. <laughs> All oh, morning. he must have just died. Your All son. Per- and then you can look at two, two other girls. What's she going to disclose about them now? <laughs> <laughs> they were odd. And oh, these, these, are, these are wonderful stories. Can yeah. I trouble you for a couple yeah. of more? Yeah. Any, any, whatever comes to your mind over the. How many visits did you make to Putaparti? Uh, I can't have to count. Well, probably more since a uh, hundred odd, maybe several, several times a year. Several times a year, maybe a four, hundred four, visits. five times a year. Oh my goodness, it's lovely. It. And um, did did Baba always treat you lovingly? Did he ever become a stern taskmaster? Did he ever? Uh-huh. Rarely, I seen sternness on me. Uh, but there are times that you know, whole year be cold storage, <laughs> and cold I'll, storage. I'll recognize and I reflect <laughs> back what wrong could I have done and and correct myself. Uh, but not really very punishing. Yeah, yeah. But your but heart, heart story is pretty hard. Your heart will tell you that you you didn't yeah. do this right, or and, your, and sometimes your there, and sometimes yeah. there is such a thing as instant karma. Too. Yeah, it's, yeah, it resolves. <laughs> yeah, it just take 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 takes it away. Oh my back! You know, it's, yeah, I mean, you had a, here's a gentleman. Yeah, I had a serious back pain. 2006. That's a nice story. Okay. And was it a, a um, spinal problem or? I had L4, L5 disc uh, slip, touching sci- sciatica nerve, shooting pain all the way through. Uh, and usually, my birthday, Shivratri, Guru Purnima, birthday, his birth, those are kind of our normal go. And maybe a, a family trip in between some of you all go together. Uh, I will individually go a couple extra times. So. My family, nobody let me go. I had a serious problem. Uh, my wife had gone to Kodai Canal with, with my grandchildren. And once she found a high problem, I was bedridden completely. She flew back. And my children would not allow me to travel. Uh, I had therapists. I had all neurologic you see. My neurosurgeon said, you have to get operated. Otherwise, within six months, you'd amputate your leg. Mm. Like because there was no, nerve damage was all, all this already seen happening to an order of 10%. And, and I said, think you said this is like five or six years ago? Yeah, 2006, okay. exactly, all 2006. Right. And um, I was praying very hard to him. I was on medication, I was there, to the point I couldn't get up from here and my bathroom is there to be able to walk there. It was without, severe. It without was, pain. It was severe I go pain. to the toilet, I come back or rest one hour. Mm-hmm. I go brush my teeth come back to Rex and R because it was excruciating, excruciating pain. pain. And now getting worse day by day. And no therapy was helping. But then finally, I said, I, a friend asked Swami that Vadwani is in pain. Uh, Vadwani occurs in pain. That's, um, and he said, tell Vadwani no operation for him. Mm. So my daughter was a doctor. She was against this. She says, how is it possible? You got to take a second opinion. So a second opinion from uh, on, on the physician. <laughs> so I went to his own surgeon, and he says, "Yes, you have a problem. It's bad, but with time it can go away. Uh, the way the injury is, it's it's a lateral slip, which means I cannot cut open the back and fix it, or chop the slip disc. I have to go from the front, and the process of doing so, oh I goodness. may 
it is 50% chance it will interfere with some of the organs and give more damage. Mm -hmm. But with God's grace, I took some epidural injections, three in one, one, one month's time. Now I did three maximum a year, doctors tell you. I took three epidurals where I became slightly better. And this young son here, Satya volunteer, he was going to India. So with his help, my family gave permission. So he, we flew together. Oh. And, he, and I was all braced up. You remember, I was braced up together from here to here going through. And we reached there on Atirudra Mahayagna, final day, right? Purnavati day. And I was sitting in the veranda there, way at the back of the ledge. And after the yagna got finished, Swami, Swami, pain, too much pain. I was sitting up there and Swami walking up, he saw him in the front. And I looked at him, I got up and gave him a letter. He blessed it. But I have never sweated like this in Puttaparthi. Never. Physical sweat? Physical. Like I was in drenched in a swimming pool. Did it have something From to do with the yagna, maybe? With the no, no, they're all there. They're all there. I was drenched like wet clothes in a rain. So you, there was an internal cleansing oh, of was some happening. kind. It was, it was wet. Yeah. Huh? Tirtham was a few dots, right, right. Yeah, Swami was doing Tirtham after Tirtham Yagna. But I couldn't understand my banin so wet, my shirt so wet, my, you know. Huh? Pain. Pain. Pain was, the pain was still there. Oh, was he's, still there. He's all braced up, right? All, all braced up. But it was, and then next day he called me for the interview with a couple from Europe, just three of us. Satya didn't go with you. Satya didn't go. No, <laughs> he was a bad boy. Was out to, yeah, but he, he just called, and we're sitting up, and uh, I don't do think they would let us call them. Basically, it won't be a problem. But uh, set up, and Swami looked at me. Swami, too much pain. Sorry, could not come for Guru Purnima. I just couldn't move and family wouldn't allow me to come. I know, I know. Excruciating pain. Too much pain. Too much pain. Like that. And then he was, he said like this. Hold on. He said, make sure I get this. He looked at it. He was touched. His hand was here. He says, pain chala gaya. And what was that? He says, pain chala gaya means went away. And he says, pain chala gaya. He and did what, three times. Three times. And, yeah. And then what happened to you? And that, I don't know what happened. And then I, I went with with stick in my hand, right? And the brace was long. Came to, I came without a stick. I had a walker stick going support wise. I came out, and it became all right. <laughs> they all know what kind of pain I would go through. Unbelievable. Yes. It wasn't in your head. You didn't imagine Nothing. that the pain. I don't even expect he'll do that. What happened? But. It, it is the doctor of all the doctors. May I be so personal as to inquire gently about the nature of the letter you gave him? No, I just, I, I, I was used to writing casual letters to him, or like writing, writing a letter to grandfather. You, but was Always. it a letter, Baba, please take my pain away, please nothing. heal me? Just, sorry I couldn't come. You weren't even asking? Not, nothing. Oh, that's a great story. I tell you, 1991, I was a heart patient. You had, you had your back, I, now your heart, okay? Yeah, this is, this is tied to that one. And when, when I went 1991 up there, uh, 1991 summertime, or June, I was diagnosed with a positive heart condition. Two so what, two side devotees, and one of their colleagues, there's a positive condition that I should get operated. They wanted my wife's permission. My wife said, I can't let you touch and operate him till I ask Sai Baba. And imagine, we are not that close to Swami. 1991, we probably had one interview when my daughter was graduating her high, high school, uh -huh. 1990. So this would have been our second or third close interaction with Swami if we got that opportunity. And she says, I'm going to go and ask Swami. And the doctor says, Madam, you understand, he's a walking time bomb. Mm -hmm. He said, no, give him some medical therapy. Some give him some drugs, and we'll t I'll take my chances. Mm -hmm. He knew, the doctor knew that you, you so might not make this. So this was my wife calling. She says, okay. So they gave me the nitrite tablets, the small ones. Whenever angina pain came, I saw a solo one tablet under my mm -hmm. tongue. And there were some patches, so just keep my blood thin or whatever. So I had patches all the time. I went through excruciating angina pain for four years, mm. four months rather. So you had serious to, to November, problems. yeah, I, it was positive. And then we got there about 14th or 15th November, and the hospital was being 
This is so beautiful. If I get there, maybe Swami, I'll be the first patient in the hospital. <laughs> Who knows? So we, we, got, we got there and we were fortunate that Swami gave us passes to be inside the dome when the inauguration happened. And inauguration went okay. On the 24th, I think 25th, uh, he came in the morning and said, How many are you? I said, Swami, two. Me and my wife. Very good. He didn't call me. I thought, no, Jatin was with me though. That Jatin had come with me. So I said, oh, I should have told three. Evening he comes and says, how many are you? So I'm three. Ha, huh, come. Like. <laughs> <laughs> so we went up there inside and I was sitting next to him and he asked me first question, what do you want? He said, so, so nothing, I want you. You want me? I was happy. He went like, and they materialized the bracelet. He materialized that bracelet? Yeah, and okay. he gave, put it in my hand and he says, this is what I am. It's Om on the bracelet. And behind the bracelet, the clip is Sarvadham a symbol. So he manifested that. So this is the Om right here. This right? Om right, yeah. And he materialized that and gave yeah. it to you. And he put my hand, back? he says, by putting, he says, you want me? Go, take it. I'm coming with you. This symbolism that this is he. He's not the physical form that we know. Mm -hmm. He is that Parabrahman and he is and, that. And I missed what you said, he said was on the back side of the bracelet. Back side bracelet is the Sarvadharma symbol. The uh, Swami the emblem. Oh, oh my gosh, if I can get this. I'm this trademark. Hmm? Oh, it's, it's out of focus. Oh, one second here, I'll see if this will come back into focus. Uh, hold on. You can see his yes. lotus in all the five religions. In the yes, screen. there it is, okay. I'll have to get it from a wide shot. Thank you for that. Now, he materialized that out of thin air. Yeah. He, I don't know if he put it on your wrist or not, but you put no, it on No, he hold, held it out of my hand, and then he led us inside the private interview room. I mean, Jatin was with me, me and my wife. And then Bhagwan asked my wife, that it's next to you, what's the news? And he looked at it and he says, Swami, my husband's health is not well. He looked at her, he looked at me, and then he gently went like this. Tap three times. No heart problem. His sankalpa. When he says his word, this comes true. He says, no heart problem. You know, that, that shakes me to my core because my first meeting with Baba, he did the same thing to he me. Did, yeah. yeah. He smacked me real hard, right? Mm -hmm. Just like he smacked you yeah. on the chest. Yeah. Wow. And then he started wearing this bracelet on my hand. It was tangled up. It, it took a couple minutes to wear it. That's the, I never see Swami that angry any time. He was, you know, I won't say word curse, but looking at it, why is this so hard to put? <laughs> I never had difficulty. And he's fiddling with it. I doubt if he cursed. No, no, but you know, you could see anger in his face kind of, you know. Frustrated with this one, sure. and while well, doing my hand do was with him, and probably necklaces. he was doing something, we never know. Yeah, going through a hand was with him for a few minutes, and finally got done with it. And then my wife turned saw me, but uh, doctors are saying he needs operation and medicines. Ma, no medicines, no doctors, no operation, no operation. I'm in him, I'm around him, I'm above him. It is my duty to take care of him. No harm will come to him. This is my raksha. This is statement. And what raksha's happened? protection. Did you, did you die from a heart attack? No, nothing happened. It's <laughs> you know, 21 years now. 21 years? Since the incident happened. The doctor and must Jana feel... Went away. The doctor must feel... Yeah, the doctors... But How can doctor side devotees pain going go away once it's established? It's right. That is, that is Have you, difficult. and your, did you tell me your wife's a doctor? No, no, my, my daughter is, my your, oldest your daughter. daughter. What yeah. does your daughter make of that story now? She said, she saw me too, she stayed with Swami six months as, as pre-med pre, pre, pre days, she knows what it is, but the children of course accept Swami as God, so not really, but. Ramesh, but. the question I want to ask, I guess, is I've interviewed quite a few Sai devotees and I've interviewed some people with some serious problems. You've had all kinds of problems and profound miracles performed. But my wife, which she was here, she would tell you, this man had lots of problems and he probably, zombies with him while along taking care of him 
Yeah, she knows it, you know, there are many, many such health issues that come and go on. No, that's just one care, yeah. story after another, just great, great, yeah, great. Yeah. One more. Oh. <laughs> Other healthy problem, issue, is my, my mother. Uh -huh. It's about 1992. This happened in 91. And she had had several heart problems. She'd been in her hospital, never operated, but she had small heart attacks. And she survived quite a few, few of them. And we admitted the hospital for a month and she come back. This last one, doctor summoned all our brothers. We were like seven of us all over the world. Will you please come be with your mother? This was last moments. Mm -hmm. She was on the respirator. We all flew down. My, I got there Tuesday or Wednesday. And my, my brothers told me, listen, Looks like she's on the last moment. The doctors won't take the respirator out because too much oxygen is also getting toxic in the body. She's been on for two weeks and there's shortage of respirators in India now. Hospital, they won't let any particular patient hog it, so to say, that, that yes. long. Yes. So they wanted us to pull the plug. So my brother said, listen, you know Swami very well because you go see him quite often. Take up collective prayer to Bhagwan and explain the situation. I get there on Thursday, and by, I have a deadline. By Friday, Saturday, I have to fly back. So my wife was coming with the summer school kids, with 12, 12 kids, to summer program to Swami's Whitefield. So I had to go release her so she can go. And she would determine whether mother-in-law is sick or hospital, she has to go see Swami. And she, was, she prayed to Swami, says, whatever happens to her mother-in-law, you make sure you protect her because my brother, my husband's all brother saying, hey, daughter-in-law, you please come and take care of her. Because I, I've committed with 12 girls to bring them to you. Mm -hmm. So she was a one dilemma, come pressing Swami take care of her. Here I was, I reached that Thursday, Swami don't see me, doesn't see me. In the evening, in three session, he says, tomorrow morning, you go to Puttaparthi and talk to my students. <laughs> morning he didn't see me or take my letter. And he won't take the take letter in three. He just means tomorrow morning. So I go Friday morning before darshan, straight to uh, Puttaparthi, finish the darshan, come back. Now Friday three session, I come back by three session time. I sit and he doesn't talk to me, he doesn't see. How are the students? What did you tell them? What happened? Nothing. All the hurt. He's not happy with the students, whether they use computers. He asked me to go give them a talk. That's all. And he came back. Saturday morning, Warden Nursi Murthy places me right at the gate. He says, you won't miss him. Swami crosses here and this he has to see you, yeah. if he will see you. Mm -hmm. He put it right there. Swami came through. He looked straight at me and letter my hand. He just grabbed the letter from my hand. It was about my mother's health. Yeah. So Swami, how can we take a life away? We do not know what to do. Please take care of it. Simple note. He grabs the letter. Somebody took a picture of Swami taking the letter. I still have that. Swami taking the letter in my hand. He goes, makes a round around the tree, and keeps coming back. And he goes in. I said, fact, he took the letter, but what to do now? What do I tell my brother, brothers? <laughs> Should I take plug? Unplug it? Yeah, what do I do? Right. I just don't have an answer, Swami. What to do? And Swami, yes. And, <laughs> and Swami had taken a group of South American and a wheelchair person ahead. I'm thinking, Swami, see me, not see me, talk to me. I saw me walking through. Of course, he didn't see me, didn't talk to me, walked by and went where Al is, you know, about 10 feet away. And I said, look, now it's gone. I'll catch my flight Saturday morning. I have to catch my flight to go to Pune, tell my family, and then head back to Bombay, head back to US. And as soon as the thought crossed my mind, Swami turns around, hey, you come in. So he had already crossed, so I jumped and went in. And there was a gentleman from South, South America, like uh, mm -hmm. sitting on a chair, and Swami is here, and he says, the he tells, he gives, what does Vibhuti, like Nami does, and gives to everybody. So he gives this man too, a Vibhuti. And then he materializes a ring with three stones and puts on his hand. He was sitting up there. He goes, takes his throne, and he tells that man, get up. The ladies from the Venezuela centers or South American centers. Swami, don't do that. Because he's always like from from from, from birth. He's, he's disabled. So I says, Swami tells him, get up. 
and they again scream. So third time Swami himself gets up and goes to the gentleman and gently taps his knees with hand three times. And now he says, get up. And he got up. He got up. Oh my God. And he walked him into the private interview room. And then 15 minutes later, Swami came out. He says, this man not only can walk, but he can sit squatted and do meditation. Mm. My goodness. So I said, if he can cure a person out of a wheelchair and make him walk, what is my other situation? And what happened to them? And Swami calls me in and I sat inside. And he says, what are we thinking? Swami bolega, nahi bolega, dekhega, nahi dekhega. Exact same words. What I was, my mind was talking before he called me in. He repeated same words. <clears throat> Tell me what the translation of those words. Swami dekhega, nahi dekhega. Will he see me, not see me? Uh -huh. Swami bolega, nahi bolega. Swami will talk to me, not talk to me. Uh, he should talk to me so I can go tell my brothers okay. what, what to do. All right, so he repeated what you were just saying to yourself. And what I, said, I said, Swami, what, what do I do? Because mother is in deathbed, and how can you pull the plug from her? He says, don't worry about that. You do your, do, do your seva to the mother. Do your duty to your mother. So what you're doing right now is seva. You came here, you're taking care of her. Leave everything else to God. Swami will give prasadam. That's it. That was the interview ended. I came out. Swami dispersed everybody else. I was the last one. I was going through. He gives you some prasadam. And he took the whole bunch of the mm -hmm. packets and mm -hmm. says, for mother, like that, go. We're down yeah. to the last minute yeah. of this and, battery. And, and I want to hear the end of the story. Then, then, then I went back and went for I said, this, this is what Swami said. Take out all the medications. Don't give any medicines. Take this vibhuti, she was on, on the tube, put this in, 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 the, in the intravenous. So in the in tube. you can do, yeah, put, put, put vibhuti packets in the tube. But the doctors didn't like that at all. No, I mean, my sister was there taking care of it, putting in there, and but nothing was working anyways. And I left, I reached US and 24 hours later, I called back from there, how's mom? She says, mom is in perfect condition out of ICU, into the regular room, and he's reading a holy book for you, for oh sending, you, sending his blessings. Sai Ram. This Sai is just, Ram. Just, just a wonderful story. Baba allowed my camera battery to last. It's in its last minute right now. I, Ramesh, I just want to thank you thank from you. the bottom of my heart. Thank you. This is uh, a series of stories, the likes of which I've never heard before. Mm. And I really appreciate you sharing yes, with thank us. Thank you. And I'm sure there's many more, so yes, we'll be back yes. for more. Sai thank Ram. you. Sai Ram. Sai Ram.